This is Amita Recap, and today we're going to talk about the shady art world and how people use it to launder money all over the world. So let's get this started. Now, I'm not saying that all art is invaluable, but all art is subjective, which makes their value sometimes very questionable. For instance, this painting right here, which sold for $72.8 million. And if that's the truth, it kind of makes you want to take a super soaker to your niece's head and tell her to paint, little girl. Paint. Or how about this one, which sold for $2 million. If that's the case, I could have just sold my high school notebook. Laundering money through the art world is actually easier than you think. All you need is a shitty piece of artwork and an art dealer to be in cahoots with you. Yourself, how is this even possible? Well, think about it. The art world caters to the one percenters of this world. The one percenters of the world are usually by art through anonymous third parties, which only buy art from private collections and private galleries, which allowed huge, huge cash deals to have Happen without being regulated. So when you think about it, it is the perfect storm for money laundering. So let's get down to how it works. So let's say you have $10 million in cash. Now this money's not clean yet. If you put it in a bank, you're gonna get red flagged and you're definitely gonna get taxed for it, but you wanna keep most of the money. So what do you do? You find an art dealer that has a gallery. Now usually this art dealer does this before and he's gonna become your accomplice probably needs a couple of bones thrown at him because God knows what he gets into over the weekends. So now that you found this art dealer, this art dealer becomes your best friend. Now we're going to call this art dealer Paul. See, Paul takes your $10 million and he buys a painting for you at his art gallery. You own the painting now. Now what you do is you go ahead and take that painting and sell it back to Paul using one of his LLCs or shell companies. And voila, $10 million dollars clean. And that's how easy it is to launder money through the art world. Now, if somebody ever comes around to question you, you have a full transaction, you have receipts, you have the sold and buying through the LLC and through the art dealership. And simply, usually what they do is they keep that painting in storage. So there's no real evidence of where that painting went. And there you go, $10 million. Hopefully you get to spend it on me. Now let's talk about those NFTs. Now let's say you have those illegal $10 million that you want clean. You're going to go ahead and buy an ill liquid NFT using real clean money. Make sure that money's clean. Now you're going to go ahead and buy that same NFT that you just bought with clean money, but you're going to buy it for yourself using your $10 million, but obviously using a shell company, an LLC, or even a friend. And voila, you just made $10 million of profits and it's all clean money. Congratulations.